And in sports, we go to Trump National, where Angel slugger Albert Pujols brought his annual golf tournament. Albert's charity, the Pujols Family Foundation, provides support for families and children living with Down syndrome. Albert's wife, Dee Dee Pujols, tells us more about the charity. The Pujols Family Foundation, I don't think we knew what we were getting into when we started. But uh, because we have a daughter who uh, has Down syndrome, and then Albert comes from a third world nation, you know, we, we take those, uh, those issues very important, and they're close to our heart, and we know about them, so we decided to really reach the world for those different causes. And it's gotten bigger than we could ever have you know written on paper seven years ago so it's been awesome you know it's great when we talk to some of the people participating today the celebrities and the athletes and they just can't say enough about both of you and they're so excited to be out here to help yeah you know i i wanted to make sure it was important to me because there are many many new friends that came today sure. um especially for from the acting world and different things um that we didn't have access to in st louis but i it's really important for me to have them understand you know what it is we're here for because um, they probably get invited to so many different events and can't really keep up or don't always know what the cause is but I felt like you know sometime in this day I want them to make sure that they walk away and know this is what happens and um, we're a very hands-on foundation so hey if you want to volunteer you want to be a resource or some kind of you know connection with us we're, we're all around that. And if you would like to find out more about the charity, you can always go to their website at thepoolholesfamilyfoundation.org. And finally, a play that takes us just about as close to home as you can get. It's called The Strand, a beach musical. We caught up with the actress who plays the lead. My character's name is Angeline. She's a really, really sweet girl. She comes from a, you know, a family of a very high class upbringing from New York City. Um, her father's super rich, but she doesn't care about money. She cares more about people and she loves architecture and nature and she's having a good time visiting Redondo Beach with her family, so. Well, yeah, you know, it's been a great experience working um, with my family. That's the reason why I've been able to do so many um, aspects of this production and be a part of all that. And. Um, our family has a nonprofit performing arts company that we founded and operate um, called Fantasia Family Music. Um, and for years, we've uh, done other people's shows. And for once, we wanted to do a show that was um, kind of more about us, I guess, in a way, but okay. but really about about the, the South Bay and about um, just this amazing, unique place that we get to live in. And so, with that said, I've uh, played Kai and also been able to take over as director. Um, done a lot of rewrites, also have two of my own original um, pieces of music in the show, and it's just been an amazing experience, especially with our, our new cast and uh, this year's production. It's going to be great. And what was special about Michelle that you said, yes, she's perfect for the character? You know, when she walked in and um, her, her attitude and her presence that she brought to the room, um, they, they call it in theater stage weight, that she just has an amazing amount of, um, and then her ability to just take direction and jump right into um, kind of what we believe and love about this play. She just bought into it from the get-go, from the moment we asked her to do anything. She was she was there and doing it, and um, she's been an, an asset to this overall production, definitely. And then let's touch upon the music again, because I know in addition to the Beach Boys, you have a lot of people working with you here. Yeah, we do. Um, we're very lucky to have um, some great friends who are helping us in the show, and uh, the, the keyboard player, piano player this year is um, a man by the name of Mike Thompson who's played with the Eagles for, I think, almost about 20 years now. Yeah. Um, John Brown is also the musical director of the show, local artist around here, um, and he's just really tried to capture this place um, of the South Bay. And, and with that, we also have a man, um, Paul Johnson, who's a surf guitarist. He wrote the song, Mr. Moto, and was uh, used to do surf competitions with Dick Dale. And he was wow. the big, big rival of that. And um, we got in contact with him. And he's uh, helped us write a lot of the, the surf music and add this real South Bay element to it. You're going to be performing this at a very special theater um, in the South Bay here in the Norris Theater. Talk about the dates and when we can come and see you. Um, the dates are August 16th through 18th at 7.30, and, you know, it's a kid-friendly a kid um, musical, so bring the entire family. For more information, you can go to their website at norriscenter.com. And that will do it for us. For everyone here at RPV-TV, make it a great day.